what is going on youtube it's your boy mac get the hands back to you with another video let's go ahead and jump right into this haircut tutorial we are going to be doing a burst fade on the sides we're not going to cut anything on top we're going to line him up we're going to do a nice sharp chin strap and we're just going to bring my boy back to life first you want to step start off with a half circular step creating your first guideline and you're going to use this guideline all the way through whenever you go to your next guard so as as i'm doing right now i'm using my gamma ergos lever all the way open which is equivalent to a half and i have no guard on there right now and you see that i'm still going in that half circular shape you want to make sure you keep that shape that way at the end result the the the, the reason why it's called a burst fade is because anything behind the ear going into the hair up top is almost like a burst like a sunburst so you keep it dark in the front and keep it dark on the back and you'll see what i'm talking about as we get closer to the end result but we just used to do a zero all the way on on the sides leading up to the top but i wanted to do something different and record it um still to this day this haircut is still in high demand so i've done it before but you know I feel like we always just get better right within time so now that's our second guideline now we're gonna take my one guard all the way open and we're gonna still go with that shape you're gonna see that I'm gonna start cutting with the grain so I'm gonna be cutting in a downward position that way I can keep some darkness but also get rid of some bulk so after the lever all the way open on the one you want to put it in the middle and then close it as you work your way down okay you don't want to go any higher than than what the one open has already gone you're gonna come back with the two and then you'll come back down to a one and a half guard to remove anything that the two left behind again we want to make sure that that C cup area and the edge up stays you know pretty dark it's still light right there because again before this haircut he used to just get real short on the sides all the way to the top but I want to try to keep it as dark as possible in the front and you, you'll see once we put the line up everything's gonna pop this client in particular man I've been cutting his hair for a while now he's had waves he's had mohawks he's had tapers um, his hair can do it all it's dope it's dope but I like this look I like this look with a mohawk like this, I like that burst look to keep it, you know, dark in the front and dark in the back. All right, so what, when, remember when I said I'm cutting with the grain? I took my one and a half guard, and now I'm blending that top piece into the blend on the sides. I don't want to dis disconnect it. Guys, if y'all haven't checked out my previous video, it's the one with Zach Hoskins. I met up with a streetball phenom. Y'all have seen him all over social media. He's a one-armed hooper, and he is killing it. And we did a three-point contest. We collabed. Dude is a humble, humble dude. And it just motivated me to see him be out there competitively and, and hooping and not letting it stop him. It, it's crazy. It's inspiring. You know, we're very blessed. I'm very blessed that I have all four of my limbs, but for someone to either be born with that or just mid a midlife, you know, incident that happened to where they have to go and adapt to what life has given them. It's amazing. My, my dad is handicapped. He has a short leg and a short arm. And whenever I saw Zach Hoskins out there hooping and doing his thing and doing what he loves, it was just so inspiring so i had to meet him i had to meet him so check out that video guys um he don't let nothing stop him he's definitely killing it on the court so you're gonna see i'm blending everything in a downward position now i already worked my way up now i'm working my way back down now i have the half guard on there and i'm blending whatever the one left behind with still keeping that same circular uh motion and keeping the front dark by the hairline and you're gonna see that I'm gonna take my fine tooth comb and and kind of like comb any hairs that are kinked up or curled up 
and you'll see that it's gonna look less spotty because you want to make sure you you brush down or use a comb to comb down any hairs in its natural uh, position All right, so now we're gonna line up the back. I'm gonna have it like in a, a like a circular V shape. I don't want to point it too too much, but as you can tell, with keeping that back dark, again, just creating that burst look, real light in the midsection, keeping it dark in the back and the front section. I'm gonna line up the C cup, favoring that left corner, and notice my fingers on his forehead, bracing myself, and also it's it's a pivot. It's helping me pivot on the on the the sideburn. If you were to move, sneeze, cough, any any kind of movement, I can always pull back from that, and that's basically like my safety point. My my fingers resting on his forehead. So guys, what you do to one side, you're gonna do to the other. I'm gonna let y'all jam out to this beat. If y'all enjoy this beat, make sure you hit the link in the description below. My boy has been blessing me with some fire beats. It's Apollo, man. Appreciate you, bro. Um, Go ahead and enjoy this side, guys. Same thing. It's a power. Apollo, yeah, that mother too cold. last minute touch-ups and then we're gonna go ahead and line them up following that same shape on the back then we're gonna favor the right side of the blade now 
to create that nice C cup. Notice how with keeping it real light and bald in the middle and then having it dark on the sides and the back, it just brings that haircut to life and creates that burst effect. Super clean. Again, we're gonna go with the chin strap. Nice and crispy. Then we're gonna follow it up with the razor. A straight razor, we're gonna use some 245 shave gel. And we're gonna go mostly with the green. Um, just because at the bottom of his chin strap, it, it tends to get irritated. Um, and even though I, I let him know that he still wants to do the razor, so I just always make sure to go just, just with the grain. I'll go against the grain on the hairline, but with the grain on the chin strap. So I lower the front hairline a little bit, that way the hairline can pop. It's down to about, about a one. I don't press too, too heavy down on the forehead. I just kind of like graze it with the one and it still keeps it kind of dark, but knocking it down. That way you can have a nice crispy edge up and no hairs are sticking out. So notice no eye contact guys. <laughs> this is funny because you see all the memes all over Instagram and TikTok about a client just creating eye contact, making eye contact with the barber on the mustache, the lineup. This man is, I have the TV on, so he has something to watch, but I, I just felt like, dude, that, that was a perfect title. <laughs> perfect title. Houston, we have a problem. Lining him up with the uh, Babyliss Patty Cut Edition. Still, man, still things hitting like crazy. This is a 245 Tennessee Barber Expo Edition, Tyler Trotter. Uh, about two years ago right before covid man he had his first tennessee expo so they created that orange shape gel i don't think it's no longer on the market but i made sure i used every last bit of that shape gel bringing that chin strap to life with the razor hopefully y'all enjoyed this haircut tutorial make sure you like subscribe share and comment and as always, Team Gifted, stay gifted. Sheesh!